Now, from Britpop to Twitpop, the band Blur have been around since long before digital downloads, but now the Four Piece are pioneering a new way of getting their music to their fans, launching their latest songs in a one-off performance only on Twitter. Earlier, they played two new tracks which were streamed live on the social networking site. Before that, they spoke to our culture editor, Matthew Kane. They're one of our most popular bands ever, and in August they'll be headlining a pop concert in London's Hyde Park to mark the end of the Olympic Games. But when Blur reunited for a series of live gigs in 2009, they were famously coy on the subject of new material. Today they're releasing two new songs written especially for Hyde Park. spent more time in Hyde Park over the last decade than anywhere else. <laughs> so it's sort of, it's the place where we, where we seem to play. Um, and we wanted a song that might, might work in that environment. Um, I didn't want it to be too explicit about anything, really. I, I, I don't think you can pre-think um, what, what sounds and whatever, what attitudes are going to be struck up in a song. You have to just emotionally react to it. You have to channel it. You have to, you, you, you know, um, what is it? Turn that sort of language into your what you do on an instrument. When Blur first came together, the dominant format for music sales was vinyl. By the time they had their famous race to number one with fellow Britpop band Oasis, music listeners had switched to CDs. Today's new songs are being released via download, following a live performance streamed within the last hour on Twitter. The chance to just play your new music and then it'd be out immediately, and for there'd be none of that sort of uh, process of reviews and you know, and I mean, I just think it's nice, it's very, it's very natural, it's what it is, it gets direct to the people who are interested and they're allowed to make their mind up entirely on their own as opposed to this kind of sort of ridiculous filt filtration that, that stuff seems to have to go through. We've already seen artists like Lily Allen and Arctic Monkeys launch their careers on MySpace or YouTube. Blur are a much more established band. And by throwing their clout behind this new live streaming on Twitter, they're showing that artists across the music industry no longer need to rely on traditional media to promote their music. They don't need to rely on a magazine publisher or a radio owner to set these songs right and do them at the right time to the right audience. In a way, they're controlling their own media, and we're seeing that more and more with artists. Following today's live performance on Twitter, Blair will begin rehearsals for the Hyde Park concert. But there's been much speculation about what happens after the game. I have a question everybody asks, is there going to be another album? Because there are no plans. The answer you're going to get is however that person's feeling on the day. That's why it, all the answers are always different to that question. So how are the four of you feeling about that today? We'll see at the end of the day, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> The concert in Hyde Park takes place on August the 12th. For a clear answer on whether or not the group will stay together after that, ask them on August the 13th.